Let me just first make clear that you understand none of us really advocates geoengineering, right? We're, we're saying, look, the research should be done. We, no, none of us reasonably would defend that you're going to deploy this. This is a relatively simple idea that basically you use the, the, you know, the clouds like a mirror. And this, this particular one, which we call marine, blood, marine cloud brightening, was invented by John Latham, who is an atmospheric scientist in England, and he was walking with his son in Wales, and they came out of the cloud, and some said, wow, look at that, this is like a mirror. And so John started thinking about this, and then wrote something, 1990 or something like that, wrote an article about this, and, you know, who's worried about you know, geoengineering or, or climate change at the time, and so it sat there for 10 years, and then things go on, and people start saying, maybe I have to look into this. So, but this is a relatively simple idea, and, you know, I'm, I'm not an atmospheric scientist, so there's there's uh, room for some discussion here. But anyway, so what, you know, if you look at here at California, when you go to the coast, uh, most of the time the clouds there are very gray, are gray. And clouds are white, it's just like a glass of milk, right? So if I take milk, it looks very white. And if I dilute it, then it gets gray. And there's nothing white or gray in that whole milk. There's just little droplets of and there's water and there's little droplets of fat in it, and the combination of multiple scattering gives you that color. So what happens in the clouds that are um, sort of um, gray, they don't have very many droplets, or they're quite big. And so the idea is that if you would help by a natural means to bring more droplets in there, nuclei as they call it, you will, they will become droplets too, and you'll have more scattering. So it will look lighter. The clouds will like 